Hello, my name is Jerry Mischewski with Balanced Community Slack Science. Uh, we're out here in Sunny Davis, California, and today we're going to be comparing three brakes in a pulley system. The Petzl Grigri 2, the Petzl Rig, and the Petzl, Petzl ID. And we're going to rig them up in the pulley system to see which one uh, makes us lose the most mechanical advantage. And uh, I'm going to show you my setup. All right, as you can see here, we're uh, using these purple span sets. I got a nice pair of Brothers Wild Design tree friendlies that we will soon be offering in the shop. Um, and I've got the dyno, of course, and the pulley system we're using is a SMC three inch doubles with the embedded brake. And we're gonna start with the Gree Gree. And as you can see over here, this line's about eh, 80 feet long or so. We're using the rage line with the rage lock here. Everything's all streamlined. And of course we're going to be using the Elite Multiplier Kit, which is a 3 inch single and the Petzl Basic with the handle descender. And uh, just like my other tests, the way we're going to do this is I'm going to pull this as tight as I possibly can using the components I have just shown you. And I'm going to mark what my max force is on the dyno and then I'm going to swap out the brake with the Petzl rig next and do the exact same thing marking the max tension and then again with the Petzl ID and uh, from that we'll be able to conclude what kind of friction we're getting inside the brake and determine which uh, which one is the most efficient. I'm also going to try detensioning with each of the brakes to see which one is easiest and uh, note some of the differences between each. All right, let's get started. Alright, so I got the line tight with the Grigri and I maxed out at 2434 pounds, which is roughly 1.1 tons, metric tons. And uh, it was a little hard at the end. I noticed quite a lot of friction starting at about 1800 pounds. It was getting very difficult. Um, now let's try detensioning with the Grigri, just to see how easy it is, what kind of uh, problems I have and such. Right. Alright, so detensioning was fairly simple as you saw. I didn't have any complications. Pulling the handle was nice. There was no restriction on the inside of the pulley system right here, which I am thinking we will have problems with with the ID and the rig. So now we're going to switch out with the rig here and on initial inspection <clears throat> we can see that the cams on these two devices are not that much different from each other. But uh, the one thing that is different is we have this, or there's two things that are different. We have this so we can install the rope without unclipping the device. And also the handle is much bigger. So in theory, we should have an easier time detensioning with the rig, but we will see. All right, I got everything all set up with the rig here. Before we start tensioning, I just wanted to note something here on the bottom. We have some friction here with the brake and this strand of rope. And I assume that 
as we add more tension, both of these strands of rope will be rubbing on the brake handle. So this could affect our mechanical advantage a little bit, but uh, we won't know until we try it. So let's get started. All right, finished tensioning with the rig, and we maxed out at 26.04 pounds. And so just a tiny bit more than the Grigri. Um, yeah, it felt pretty much the same as the Grigri as far in terms of uh, pulling the actual tension. But uh, I suspect, hopefully, we'll have a little bit easier time detensioning even though the Grigory was quite easy but one thing to note about the rig is once we're rigged we can lock the handle so that the rope won't slip that's a nice feature and also the fact that the, the rig can hold a little bit more tension it's a stronger stronger device as well as this nice side plate feature so those are some main differences between the, the Grigory and the rig but uh, let's see how well it detensions. All right, finished detensioning. As you probably saw, I had a little bit harder time opening that handle. And uh, once you do get it open, it's a little uncontrollable at first. You have to be holding a lot of force on that tail in order to not let the rope go through really fast. So uh, I did find the Grigri a lot easier in that respect. And uh, so let's move on to the ID. And uh, on in initial inspection here, we can see that the ID is significantly larger than the rig, ID rig. Looking at the camming device, the ID is significantly bigger. So hopefully that'll give us a little bit more, uh, or a little bit less friction. And all the, the cool features of the rig are also in the ID. You've got this side plate feature, the handle locks, and so on. So uh, yeah, let's let's see how it works. All right, we're all set up with the, ri or the ID now, and again, I wanna note that that friction that we had on the rig is a little bit more prominent with the ID because of how large it is. So that may affect our mechanical advantage a bit by adding more friction but we will see. Let's get started. All right, I'm all finished with the Petzl ID, and as we can see, the max force I got was 2672. So just slightly higher than the Petzl rig and the Petzl Grigri. Um, yeah, I wanna see how well this does during detensioning, so let's take a look.
Alright, so the line is detensioned with the ID, and uh, I noticed it was easier than the rig, definitely, but there was still that initial, once you pop it open, it still wants to come out very fast, so it takes a very controlled hand on the tail of the rope to ensure that it does, doesn't come flying through. Um, yeah, other than that, I think the ID is a little better than the rig. Alright, so now that we've tensioned with all three braking devices, um, we can come to some minor conclusions. Uh, out of these three, I found that the Grigri was the easiest to open at the high tension that we were at. Now, this could have been because the line relaxed the most, um, because that was the first line, the first one we tensioned, and it had the most relaxation during this this session, um, but I didn't have that initial uh, fast moving rope that I did with the other two devices. Um, but these two, they have other features that make them a little bit better of a break, most notably the, the locking handles on both of them and the swinging side plates with a clippable feature that, so you don't want to remove it. Um, and I was able to get the most force out of line with the ID, and that's probably because of the largest camming device. There's the least friction around here compared to the Grigri smaller cam. Um, other than that, I think, in my opinion, the Grigri is a great braking device for, for tensions up to 2,500 pounds, especially if you're going to do the embedded brake because uh, it has the least, it, it uh, gets in the way the least, and it's very lightweight, and so it keeps your, your pulley system very compact. But if you're going for higher forces, and your brake's going to be seeing higher loads, it may be a good idea to invest in the ID instead. Okay, so <clears throat> after an exhaustive test between the three styles of brakes, I want to test higher loads with the Grigri and the ID are two best brakes in our lineup. Um, so I added a few compound multipliers and I was able to get the tension um, up to 3,432 pounds. So that means there's roughly close to 700 pounds on the brake right now, <clears throat> which is higher than the suggested load. Um, but again, I just want to test this right now. And also I'd like to note that we are above the working load limit for the SMC pulleys. So if you're thinking about going to loads this high, you should have more than 5 to 1 anyway. Maybe a 9 to 1 would be more sufficient. Um, yeah, let's see how well it does detensioning with this much force. All right, so we detensioned. Uh, as you noticed, it was initially hard to get a hold of that handle, but once I did, it was surprisingly easy, considering how much force was on the Grigri. Um, I really think that the Grigri 2, in combination with this size of rope, which is 11 mil, the Access Pro from the shop, um, it's a very good brake, and it's underrated uh, for, for many 
by many people. Um, I think it's a sufficient break for for loads up to the full working load of these SMC pulleys, which is 12 kilonewtons, which puts roughly slightly higher, about 2.2 kilonewtons on the brake. And releasing that much force with the Grigri is no problem. So um, I'm going to try the, the ID at the same force and see what happens. Uh, yeah. Alright, so now we're using the ID, Petzl ID. Same high tension test. Um, we're at 35.28. And I'm going to test to see how well it detensions. I just want to note that tensioning was actually harder at these high tensions compared to the Grigri. -gri. Uh, I'm not sure why, um, but let's see how well it does during detensioning. Alright, we're detensioned now. I uh, probably noticed I uh, had a lot easier time getting the handle to release than the Grigri. Um, and detensioning was very smooth, just as or even more so than the Grigri. Um, yeah, so the. Alright, so we're rigged now with the rig, Petzl rig. And our standing tension is 34. 62, a little lower than the other ones, uh, but let's see how well it does detensioning. Okay, so detensioning, um, the initial opening was very hard, uh, way harder than both the Grigri and the ID. Um, but once I got it open, it was not so bad, not as bad as I was expecting. As long as you keep a firm grasp on this tail, like you hold it tight while you open it, and you find that sweet spot so that the cam doesn't open too much when you pull on the handle. You uh, you can have a good amount of control detensioning with the rig. Um, so it's not as bad as I thought. So oh yeah, um, in conclusion, all three brakes are really good devices. Um, as to when you should use the ID or the rig over the Grigri, -gri, that totally depends. Um, the the rig and the ID both have higher braking strengths than the Grigri. Um, in my honest opinion, I think the Grigri is good for most lines. Uh, in the event that you need to upgrade to something stronger, I would skip over the rig and just go straight for the ID instead. It's got some a bigger cam. It's significantly stronger. It'll give you less friction, a lot less friction than the Grigri. And yeah, I think the rig is an unnecessary middleman that should be cut out from the equation. Uh, that is my opinion. Um, yeah, so that concludes this test. Uh, you can view more tests like this at slackscience.com or balancecommunity.com. Uh, again, my name is Jerry, and thanks for watching.